Hey everyone, my name is Alyssa, and today I wanted to share with you about our most recent mission trip. At the end of March, I returned home with a group of youth from the Philippines. And though I think it could be counted as a miracle that no one was left behind, or that we didn't intentionally bring home a frog or two in our luggage, what was even more exciting was getting to connect again with our global partners, Gentle Hands and Metro World Child. Because of the pandemic, it had been almost four years since we were last able to send a team to the Philippines. It was such a great experience to actually be on the ground and get a refreshed sense of what God is doing through our partner ministries. It was also a privilege for me and the other leaders to get to know our youth and witness what an impact this trip had on them. We would do a feeding program. I was dishing out food and the kids were coming in in a line and they were all really hungry. And I remember looking down on my bowl and thinking, there's no way we're gonna be able to feed each and every one of those kids. And in that moment, I felt God just really speak to my heart and reminded me of John chapter 6 where Jesus feeds thousands of people. In the end, we had plenty of food left. It was so unforgettable to see the poverty that these kids live in and the spaces that they have to live in. Just seeing them worship and do their sign language for all the songs and their actions, it was super impactful just how much they love Jesus. I think this was really shown in our daily devotions at Gentle Hands Orphanage. And during those devotions, every night we would sing with all the kids and their eyes would be closed and their hands would be raised and they were just singing with all of their hearts. Before the trip, I was told I could teach the kids to Irish dance. And I taught them like the basic stuff. And it was so great because after that, the kids all like they, they were easy to interact with. It was just such a way to connect with the kids and like putting myself out there was actually such a huge deal and made them able to put themselves out there too. One of the best things during this trip was just all the love in the kids' hearts, not only for God, but for everyone around them. Having the experience of a mission trip has really um, changed my perspective on how much I have here and how much I take for granted. For me, one of the most impactful moments from that trip was um, definitely visiting one of the homes and uh, one of the kids, his name was Raven, he actually is six and he actually lived inside a wall with his um, mother and father and there was two families living inside this wall, it was so small. And I felt God was telling me just that I should sponsor him. And through the sponsorship program they have at Metro World Child, I was able to really easily sponsor this child. And it was a small way for me to make a difference. And it was a way for me to show him God's love. Ever since I've come home from this mission trip, I have prayed for these kids constantly and by name. Being valued by those kids makes me want to value them so bad. And I know all I can do is pray. So I pray way more. I pray like half an hour every morning, half an hour every night, during lunchtime. I just can't stop. Near the end of the mission trip, I decided that I want to get baptized. I want to fully commit my life to God and show to everyone that I want to follow Him for the rest of my life. You will go in not knowing what to expect and come out as a completely different person and it really changes your life in the most amazing way ever. I think that it's just an amazing opportunity. So if you've been thinking about it for a while or just thinking about it from seeing this video, I think it's a great idea and you should go for it. If you're considering it, take me with you. I want to go again. Well, I think I speak for the whole team when I say we could share about our experiences all day long. But really, we just feel grateful to have been a small part of what God is doing in the Philippines and to experience a reinstilled confidence in our partnership there. And so this isn't the end. We want to thank each one of you as our church family for being a part of this partnership, for praying for us and supporting us. There are going to be more trips, more asks, more opportunities to pray, but we're excited to see what God has in store. These stories are just a fraction of what happened in the Philippines. And so if you want to know more, just talk to anyone who went on the trip.